Hi class, welcome back. We're gonna do Hegarty today. Let's see, which word rhymes with lunch? Bunch or fun? Bunch, listen, bunch, lunch. They both have the same rhyme at the end. Which word rhymes with ouch, fry or couch? Couch. Which word rhymes with flash? Mash or me? Mash. Which word rhymes with hush? Must or crush? Crush. And which word rhymes with fresh? Mesh or free? Mesh. Very good. All right, let's move on to our onset fluency. Remember, onset is the very beginning of a word. So I'm going to say the word, and then I need you to repeat the word and tell me the onset, okay? Sheep. Now it's your turn. Repeat it. Sheep. Shh. Good. Let's, here's the next one. Them. Now you do it. Them. Th. Good. Now you do this one by yourself, okay? Choose. Your turn. Good, you should have said choose, ch. Do this next one by yourself as well. Thumb, your turn. And the last one, shout. Now it's your turn. Very good, all right, we are gonna work on blending some phonemes to make a word. So I'm gonna start by giving you the phonemes and then you repeat those using your choppers and blend it together to make the word, okay? V, I, S. Now you do it. V, I, S. This. Very good. We're going to keep going. Listen carefully. Ch, E, P. Now you try it. Ch, E, P. Blend it. Cheap. Here's the next one. Sh, ah, p. Now you do it. Sh, ah, p. Blend it. Shop. Good. Remember, blending just means you take all the sounds and put it together to make the word. Here's another one. V, e, n. Now it's your turn. V, e, n. Blend the word. Then. One more, I want you to do this one by yourself, okay? Sh, eh, l. Now you do it. And blend the word. Good, you should have said sh, eh, l, shell. All right, we're gonna move on to isolating the final sound. And we started this yesterday. Remember, when you isolate the final sound, you punch it out, okay? And as you take your arm across your body and then go up like you're punching, and when you get to the punch, that's that final last sound, okay? The first word I want you to punch out is the word catch. Ready? Catch. What's the final sound? Ch. Good, let's do another one. Let's try the word math. Math. Punch it out. Th. And the final sound is th. It's what you heard when you punched it. Let's try the word cash. Ready? Cash. What's the final sound? Sh. Very good. What about the word itch? Try that one. Itch. What is the ending sound? Ch. Very good. Try the word touch. Ready? Touch. What's the ending sound? Ch, very good. Now you might notice sometimes I say ending sound and sometimes I say final sound. It is the same thing. You can use both words for the ending or the final. Both times it means at the very end of the word, that last thing that you hear. All right, we're gonna move on to segmenting some sounds now. So I'm gonna start by giving you the word and then when it's your turn, you're gonna repeat that and then you have to segment it into the sounds. We'll do the first couple together, but then at the end, I need you to try this by yourself, okay? All right, shout. Now you do it. Shout and take it apart. Sh out. Very good, let's do another one. Shape. Now you try it. Shape, 
break it apart. Sh, a, p. Here's another one, chest. Now you do it, chest, ch, e, s, t. That one was tricky, listen, there were four. Ch, e, s, t. Very good. All right, this next one we'll do together and after that you're on your own, okay? Then, now you do it, then, then. All right, you're on your own for this one. Ready? Thud. Go ahead, it's your turn. Very good. Try this one. Try the word shirt. Ready? Shirt. And now you do it. Very good. Hopefully, you said shirt, sh, er. Make sure you're really listening for those sounds. The more you practice this, the easier it's going to be. Okay, we're gonna practice adding a sound to a word to see how the word changes. So if I have at and I add ch to the beginning, what is my word? Chat, good, let's try some more. Elf, add sh to the beginning. What's the word? Shelf, good, in, Add th to the beginning. And what's the word? Thin. Ift. Add sh to the beginning. And what's the word? Shift. Okay, very good. Now we're going to delete a phoneme or a sound and see how the word changes. So if I have the word chance, without the ch, what's left is ants. Good. Thump. Without the th. What's left is ump. Shock, without the sh, what's left is awk. Chunk, without the ch, what's left is unk. Good. Thus, without the th, what's left is us. Now we're going to substitute some sounds and see how the word changes this way. So if we start with the word chop, change ch to sh, and the word is shop. Very good. Pin, change p to ch, and the word is chin. Then, change th to w, and the word is when, chip, Change ch to sh, and the word is ship. One more, chat. Change ch to th, and the word is that. Great job. All right, let's go through our letters and our digraphs. We are going to do this as quickly as we can, okay? So for example, I would say t, Okay, as quickly as we can, saying the letter and the sound or sounds. All right, let's get started. T, t, j, j, i, i, and i, x, x, z, z, m, m, w, w, q, qu, c, k, and s, o, a, and o d d n n s s h l l a a and a p p y y b b k k u a and u e e and e R, R, V, V, F, F, G, G, and J. Okay, now the digraphs. T, H, see my mouth? Let's do the next one, if I can get it to turn. C, H, Ch, Ch, S, H, Sh. Very good, friends. All right, I have got a different nursery rhyme behind me. I am going to read it the first time and then the second time you help me, okay? We've done this one before, it's Jack Be Nimble. 
Jack be nimble. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candle stick. Okay, now do it with me. Let me get it flat. There we go. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Jack jump over the candle stick. Very good, friends. All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow to do some more big book. Bye.